Join me, Spumalele Ndlovu, as we look forward to the year 2024. Welcome to Oh What A Year It Will Be. Yes, Anbona, and welcome to our very first episode of Oh What A Year It's Going To Be. My name is Pumelele Ndlovu and I'm your host. Thank you so much to everybody who has been watching, commenting, and of course answering our form. So it's that time of the year, it's Katska New Year, New Me, and we are all filled with renewed hope and the fresh feeling of new beginnings. This is the best time to think about what type of year we're going to be having. Yes, you got it. Our question today is, what are your New Year's resolutions? Personally, the New Year's is my favorite holiday because of all the new fresh feelings and the feelings of renewed hope and the things that I would like to achieve in a new year. There's just something about the new year. Many of us at this time think about the type of life that we want to create for ourselves and it's the best time to make some resolutions and and decide how we're going to do that in the small ways or in the big ways. Before we get into today's episode, a quick disclaimer that I am not a trained or qualified psychologist or therapist and this program is merely for discussion purposes. Any advice or opinion given during this episode should not be taken as a substitute for professional assistance. If you are dealing with a personal, family or mental health matter, please do reach out to a professional. Free and affordable resources are available in the description box below. Let's get started. So the first one says, my new year's resolution is to put more effort and intention into the things I want for myself, especially with regards to my career and fitness goals, to never give up and constantly find my feet. I really like that. I think we owe it to ourselves to be more intentional about creating the type of life that we want for ourselves. I think miracles exist and I think luck is real, but all of those things work hand in hand with you being able and ready to meet the opportunity halfway. Uh, this takes me back to the parable of the 10 virgins in the Bible. I don't know where in the Bible this is found, but I think it's in Matthew because Matthew is very parable The virgins were going to meet a bridegroom and five virgins just went and they just took their lamps and uh, the other five virgins took their lamps and they took their oil. And in the middle of the night, after they had started dozing off, um, the message rang out, we see the bridegroom is, is on his way. So everybody woke up, they started getting ready, and the ladies put their oil in their lamps. These five ladies are like, how gay, can I have some of your oil? And the other ones are like, no babes, why did you leave your oil? You better run and go buy some. And as they were going to run to buy their oil, the bridegroom arrived and only those five girlies were able to go to the wedding house with the bridegroom. And so I say this to say that be ready for the life you want for yourself. Like start creating that life you want for yourself and God and your ancestors and the universe and whoever else you believe in, luck and miracles, all of that stuff will meet you halfway. Always make sure that you have your oil and you have your lamp and you're ready to meet the life that you want for yourself whenever it shows up. I really hope that you are able to stick to this and that it yields results for you. Thank you for sharing. The next one says, My New Year's resolution is to find my feet as the world around me changes. Being assertive in what I want, being open to new experiences, and being open to healing the younger me that didn't know better. Ooh, I like that. See, my favorite thing about that is the fact that you are giving the younger you grace because they didn't know better. I think that's a great place to start in your journey to healing whatever traumas that the younger you has collected in your life. Um, by giving yourself and by giving the younger you that grace that they need. So that's a great place to start. I'm so grateful that you're open to receiving the world and receiving the beautiful things and changes that life has to offer, all while staying true to yourself and being assertive about what it is that you want and the type of life that you want for yourself. I'm so excited to see the results that all of this yields in your life. All the best and thank you for sharing. The next one says, I want to make big changes in terms of my career and actually starting in the field of my study. I didn't even know which one because life has just been vibes since I graduated. That's a really great thing to want for yourself, but I think that before you make that decision, I need you to listen to yourself, really sit down and listen to the winds of life and which direction they are um, blowing you in. I think in all things, be true to yourself, be true to yourself in what it is that you want, in the type of life that you want, and in the type of career that you would like to have, and that way you'll be able to fiercely go for it. Because if you were to go for it right now in a place where you're like, I don't know this, I don't know that, 
it's easy for you to just fall for anything. So I think take the time to listen to yourself and to really find out what direction you want to take and use all of this energy to go towards that direction. All the best with your um, New Year's resolution and may it all work together for you. Thank you for sharing. The next one says, I don't have any. I'm so depleted. I'd hate to hope myself into depression. I think that when we think of New Year's resolutions, like we think of like sometimes like really big tangible things like we say things like I want to buy a car or I want a new job or I want to I don't know I don't know the big things that we we promise ourselves and they are valid we are valid in thinking of those things and in wanting those things but I think that New Year's resolutions aren't all about that like New Year's resolutions can be I want to be able to get to a better more positive mental um, mental state I want to take the first step the first step, not even go the whole way or climb the entire mountain, just take the first step towards creating a better life for myself, whether that is by going to therapy, whether that is by taking hot girl walks for 30 minutes every day, small, small, small ways that you can use to take the first step towards the life that you want for yourself. So I can understand how daunting it is to have big dreams and to have big goals and to have big things that you want for yourself and to feel like you're not at a place where you can give that to yourself yet. It's so valid for you to feel like that. However, your New Year's resolutions don't have to be the end goal. It can literally be starting. I really do hope that um, throughout this year you find renewed hope and you find a new lease to life and you find a reason or something to go for that will help you believe in the beauty of life all over again. I'll be keeping you in my thoughts. Thank you for sharing. The next one says, to conquer all my fears. Okay, girl. <laughs> That's an amazing thing to do. And I think that in to conquer all of your fears, you have to start with one. So I do hope that isn't you? You start with the smaller fears just to show yourself that you can do it, that you can conquer your fears and then start going for the bigger ones and end up conquering all your fears. I'm so excited to hear this very positive um, New Year's resolution. All the best with that. Thank you for sharing. The next one says, I'm going to do the 12 grapes method as I feel it worked for me this year. Girl, I'm going to need us to get into that. Like what about it is it that works? Um, personally, <laughs> Like, um, I saw some I saw some TikTok videos about it and um, a lot of people saying that it works. But I also saw some and I saw some tweets where people are like, it's witchcrafty. So like, what is what? I need us to, to, to get some explanation on that. Um, but I am glad that you are believing in something and that you are doing something that's going to give you hope. Um, meet the grapes halfway. <laughs> meet the grapes halfway do you know what I mean like the grapes don't just go from grapes to wine there's a process there in between where the grapes are met in between to get the final results so take the grapes meet them halfway with you actively going for the things that you've eaten the grapes for and watch God do a God thing all the best and happy new year thank you for sharing the next one says I'm prioritizing rest and putting myself first Amen on that one. I actually have that on my vision board. I have schedule rest because on the seventh day he rested. So I'm very happy to hear that we are resting, we are relaxing and we are putting our feet up because we deserve it. Like five to nine, nine to five, no sleep, hashtag team no sleep, like all of that culture is so toxic because we need to sleep. So I'm glad to hear that. And I'm also glad that you're putting yourself first. I hope that you are firm in your boundaries and I hope that they are respected. And when they're not, I hope you know what to do. Thank you so much for sharing. The next one says, my New Year's resolution. Hey, I'm even scared to mention them because they never make it through or past three months, meaning we plan, but it's difficult to carry everything through. But this year, it's more about myself. My New Year's resolution is to find myself, to be true to myself and to focus more on me. I don't know what that means because I feel like I've been lost for a very long time. I've been floating in people's shadows and doing things to please everyone around me that I forgot what really makes me me and what it feels like to be me away from everyone around me that's a big one i think i mentioned in the first episode how that was last year for me and i am so happy that you've gotten to a point where you are deciding to stop the world and focus on yourself um 
that's that's like we pray for that and then god throws challenges at us that make us realize who we are so um be ready to be challenged be ready to be challenged because you're going to be hearing the voice of the world and your voice all at once and you're going to have to learn to silence all the voices to hear your own um so it's going to be challenging but it's so 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 worth it and i really do hope that you get some solo time away from everything that um is making a lot of noise in your space and allow yourself to be yourself and to find yourself all the best at that and happy new year thank you for sharing the next one says i'm not sure if this is a resolution but i want to live i don't want to survive i want to live in the moment and just be oh and get my license because my passenger princess era has expired i want that for you so much my love like i want that so much for you i think there are times that force us to survive there are times in life where we don't have anything but survival to rely on and i guess that was the era that was for you but right now really is the time to live so make time to live like there are always going to be challenges and there are always going to be things that test you and try you sometimes require you to um put some things on hold to show up in a certain way for certain situations but in all of that schedule joy it's going to be difficult at first because you're still in your survival era but force yourself to allow yourself to rest because you deserve that rest you deserve to live you deserve to do things that make you happy and if you have to put them on a calendar you put them on that calendar the first thing on the calendar is getting that license girl please <laughs> get that license please go just go just girls have licenses so please do get that license and watch your life unfold it's going to be so beautiful and i can't wait to see it thank you so much for sharing the next one says my new year's resolutions are working out getting a job i'm working on my cv completing my qualification spending more time alone putting myself first and standing up for myself periana like i don't know if this is the same person but there was a response i think in the second or third episode um about how these were the things that had um the person responding down and it's so great to see you actually making space or you trying to actively go for these things and a lot of them don't really need much from you like working out is something you can do in the comfort of your home or in your community you don't even need a 3000 rand gym if you know you know <laughs> getting a job you're already working on your cv so like that's you actively going for that it's completing your qualification we're trying to see that gaudiya musiki too or whatever okay so please do complete your <laughs> please do complete your qualification and spending more time alone that's so important especially when you live with people you live with the family you know my favorite ways to do that is to go by the lake if you know you know go by the lake and just sit by myself watch the little duckies watch the sunset read a book walk barefoot watch a series listen to music you know what i mean like it doesn't always mean going on a solo trip or like a solo date which you should do if you can um but it doesn't really have to take much for you to find time to spend by yourself where you can literally learn putting yourself first and to stand up for yourself i'm so excited for you i'm so so excited for you and i really can't wait to talk about this again next year this time and talk about how you've achieved all of these things all the best and thank you for sharing so for me my resolutions i think the biggest one is to get back into my discipline era i think that with discipline there is nothing i can't do this year i have committed myself to so much i've committed myself to um contents this work this work this other big stuff that i want to do in my life and it's really going to take up so much of my time and i need to be disciplined with my time i need to be disciplined with myself i need to schedule rest and schedule um joy and schedule time with my family but i'm really going to need to be disciplined for me to be able to juggle all the balls that I'm picking up next year. And in order to make that happen, I need to be consistent with the small moves, like small things like getting up in the morning for gym. I need to be consistent with that every day to see the big changes and even with the other big things that I want to do. Cuz like we always say, you don't just get from the foot of the mountain one step you're at the top. It's small steps that help you get there. So I need to be consistent in taking small steps every day towards the goals that I've set for myself. 
Um, I want to actively chase my goals in the big ways and in the small ways. I have such big goals. Some of them are so crazy. Some of them are so scary. And I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I need to be active about that. I need to be actively going for that. And that's what I want to do in the big ways and in the small ways. Like in the big ways, like putting myself out there. In the small ways, like talking to people, like strangers at the bank. One of my biggest clients that I had this year was somebody I met at a hospital ward when I went to visit my friend. And I met this man in a hospital when I went to go visit my friend. And he turned out to be one of my biggest clients in the year 2023. So in small ways, like networking and talking to people, but in big ways, like putting my work and putting myself out there. I want to be soft with myself. I want to be soft with myself this year. I have many big goals and there will be times or there may be times where the discipline slips because we're still learning or where things don't happen to me or when things don't happen for me the way I want them to because we are not in control. I want to be in a place where I can be soft with myself, where I can give myself grace and allow myself to feel and exist in the moment as it, um, as it requires me to. Um, but to know the difference between cutting myself some slack and slacking off. The biggest one is that I want to stop drinking alcohol. Like I think my time with alcoholic beverages has come to an end. It was a good time, but I think that right now, I I want to be in my sober era. I just don't enjoy it anymore. Like there's nothing wrong with people enjoying alcohol responsibly, um, but at this point in time, like I just don't think it's it's not my ministry anymore. So that's really one of my biggest goals. I think it's going okay. I think it might get a bit more challenging. Like I remember I went um, to the gym and. There are days, like sometimes when I go to gym on weekends, I could get a drink or whatever. And it was a bit like weird for me to not go into the liquor store after that tough workout because I was like, that's not your ministry, babe. You can't go there. You can't go there. So <laughs> like, I think it's just the mental getting out of the routine of it, honestly, for me. I think other challenges are going to be when I go out for lunches or parties or events or even at work, because I work um, in an agency and in agency environments, like Fridays, things are relaxed, the bar is stuck, the bar is open, you know what I mean? Like being in that type of situation and being like, no, thank you. So yeah, that's going to be quite a testing one and I can't wait to see the results of it. But yeah, those are some of my New Year's resolutions. Um, thank you so much for sharing yours. If you haven't shared it on here, let us know in the comments, what are your New Year's resolutions? Please do also remember to like and to share and to subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode and I'll see you for the first of our last three episodes in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, God is good and life is still so beautiful.